cargo shipments in Houston. The street value, about 40,000 bucks. Watching Wall Street, a dramatic drop, stocks sliding as investors are apparently not buying President Trump's trade truce with China. The Dow tanking 799 points, the Nasdaq shedding 283, the S&P 500 losing 90 points, more than 3% of its value. Well, right now there is a bad beef warning that you need to know about. So many of us have ground beef in our refrigerators and our freezers, and tonight the state health department confirms that beef linked to a West Valley plan has sickened 42 people across Arizona. And it's prompting the feds to expand the recall to a staggering 12 million pounds of beef. Team 12's Nicole Zymek joins us live from the Alert Center with what you need to know to keep your family safe. Nicole? Yeah, Mark, the meat comes from JBS Beef Plant in Tullison, and people across the country have bought it. Now, the USDA is urging you to take a look in your freezer. The USDA confirms 246 people across 26 states are sick. JBS beef plant in Tullison is ground zero. The plant now expanding its beef recall from an original 7 million pounds back in October to now 12 million pounds of ground beef because it too may be contaminated with salmonella. Hundreds of products are on the list, including Kroger, Cedar River Farms, Showcase Walmart, Gourmet Burger, Grass Run Farms, and more. The plant packaged the defective meat between July 26th and September 7th. And inside the USDA mark of inspection, you'll find an EST-267. The most important thing that people can do is throw away any raw beef products that they have associated with this outbreak. Now, some say cooking meat to a 160 degrees will kill the harmful bacteria. But Dr. Frank Lavecchio with Maricopa Integrated Health Systems says don't count on it. People argue that there's ways to properly cook it, to get rid of the toxin, et cetera, and get rid of the bacteria. Probably true. I think in this instance, though, the risk does not outweigh the benefit. Symptoms of E. coli infection include nausea, diarrhea, stomach cramps, and vomiting. The illness usually lasts four to seven days, and most people will recover without treatment but children younger than five and adults older than 65 are most at risk of serious illness or even death. And if you have the recalled beef, you can take it back to the store for a full refund. You can also find a complete list of all of the recalled products on 12news.com. We're live in the Alert Center. Nicole